there, inventors! It's Tails here, and welcome back to another episode of Ask Tails! Before we get started, I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody who left a question. I will try and answer as many as possible, but if you don't get your question answered, you can always try again for next time. So the first question is from Decepticon Blitzwing. Hi, Tails. I would like to know what you think about the possible redesign for the Sonic movie. Well, I gotta say... It's a massive improvement from the abomination that we were originally gonna get. At least Sonic doesn't have derpy eyes anymore. And he actually looks like Sonic. I just kind of wish he didn't have blue arms. I mean, we're kind of doing a Sonic boom thing again here with the blue arms. You know, I still feel like this is some kind of conspiracy. That all along, we were actually gonna get the cool design for Sonic. And they knew if they released a Sonic design which was really awful, Sonic fans would riot and it would be trending. Totally, right? It could be worse though. We could have a really creepy Tails design or something. Glad I'm not in the movie. What? No! Okay, okay, moving on. Okay, from Nicola M2YT. Two questions about Zoe. Okay. Will Zoe ever be in one of your videos? I mean, Zoe's been kind of busy. Uh, she hasn't really got back to me. I think she's kind of annoyed about the whole uh, Cosmo thing and the cream thing. So I think I'm in trouble. I mean, maybe you guys could help me out. If I have Zoe on the channel, what should me and Zoe do in a video? Should we play something like Would You Rather or Sonic World or maybe Sonic Forces? And what does Zoe doll remind you of? There's a Zoe doll? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. So I looked up Zoe doll and I couldn't find anything. From Charmy B. Hey Tails, if you ever could, would you bring me and Vector and Esbio, please? I would love to have Team Chaotix on the channel. That would be awesome. Maybe you guys could take me on one of your detective missions. I was a secret agent for Rouge once, so I'm pretty sure I could be a secret detective for you guys. Although you're not very secret because Vector's extremely loud. If I can get all of you guys together, I'll totally do it. Okay, from Liam Golden Cat Animations. Hey Tails, I have two questions. Why were you brown in the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, that's a very good question. That cartoon was actually made back when the animation company only had material from Sonic 1. And I wasn't even invented until Sonic 2, if you guys remember. So I guess they just had to kind of guess what color I would be. So they gave me more of a realistic fur color. Although still, if we compare me to a real life fox, I'm still way too dark. I like being a yellow fox. It's way cooler than a boring old brown. Also kind of silly how they wanted me to look more realistic when Sonic is bright blue. And the second question is, what's your IQ? Well, take into consideration that Dr. Eggman's IQ is 300. And me and Eggman are pretty on par in terms of technology and in building. So I would say that I'm about 300 as well. Maybe a tiny bit behind. I've never taken an IQ test before. I felt like they wouldn't be challenging enough for me. From Andrea the Gamer. Yo Tails, are you actually real? I am super curious to know. Well, I have a voice, I'm speaking, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, is this real enough for you? I'm conscious, I'm self-aware, I think I'm real. I hope I'm real. If I'm not real, then that means all of my inventions and everything I ever created was total fake. I just had a brain overload. Don't ask me questions like that. Hashtag real tales. P.S. You are way better than Sonic and my favorite character. You know what? I like you. I take back what I just said. Sorry, Sonic. I win. <laughs> From Caden Hill. Have you ever played Sonic Riders Zero Gravity? I have actually. Playing this game actually was a real workout. I get a bit of an arm ache after a while. I'd rather have not been in another game with... Wave, though, she's kind of mean. Think she's better than me. You know, it's bad enough I gotta compete with Eggman, but Wave as well. Although, I do respect a fellow inventor. Just wish all of the fellow inventors that I met were actually nice. Ooh, boy. From Rod Maya. Yo, Tails, please answer my question. I've been trying since episode one. So my question is, how deep can your voice go? Oh, how low can I go? I think this is as deep as I can go. <laughs> I mean, I could cheat and I could use a uh, voice modifier. 
Th that's as low as I can go. Maybe when I get older, I'll be able to go a bit deeper, and then I could be like Knuckles, and I can do rap songs and sound really cool. I'll be like, here I come. Uh, uh, yeah, no. From Multiverse Coin, if you had the chance to be in Super Smash Bros, what attacks and specials would you have? So, I looked up this fan game, which is kind of like Smash Bros, but with uh, Sonic characters. And I think this uh, special moveset looks uh, pretty good. Okay, Electron Cannon. Tails fires a long-range ball of energy. Okay, Hammer Smash. Tails attacks with his hammer? I'm not Amy. Whirlwind. Tails spins fast enough that he starts flying upwards. After the attack, he starts to slowly fall. Well, that doesn't sound really epic. Okay, Spin Dash. Isn't that Sonic's thing more so than mine? But all right, uh, Tails rolls into a ball and rolls around the battlefield. Afterwards, when Tails tries to stop, but still goes on for a small distance. Okay, this is lame. Oh, now this is more of my thing. Cyclo Mech Walker. Tails summons his Mech Walker, which can fire energy balls with A. Okay, yeah, yeah, I like that. Well, there you have it, guys. If any Smash players out there have a better idea of what moveset I should have, then let me know in the comments section below. Perhaps we could come up with the ultimate moveset list together. I think that would be pretty awesome. Next question is from Rosa Briggs. Why do you sound like you have a stuffy nose in your movie, Sonic the Hedgehog OVA 1991? Yeah, I know what you mean. It's okay if you don't swim, you should give it a try. That voice actor did kind of have an annoying voice, but I still think I sounded better than Sonic with his strange isn't it stuff. Strange isn't it? I don't know, who, who actually sounded worse, me or Sonic? That's a really tough decision. Maybe I actually did have a cold. Maybe that's why I sounded so stuffy. Okay, Sonic, I am Tails from the OVA. And everything I say is kind of like this. It was kind of like that, right? <laughs> Cringy. All right, from Strike the Hedgehog. How would you feel if you were Shadow Sidekick? How would I feel? Would I have to be edgy and dress in black? Or maybe dye my fur black or something. But like, yo, Shadow, sup, bro? I feel kind of like perhaps me and Shadow wouldn't really get along because Shadow's mean and grumpy. I'm used to being around my friends who are happy and energetic and Shadow's just kind of emo and he doesn't talk very much. What would we even talk about? But hey, maybe soon there's going to be a Tales and Shadow video coming out foreshadowing and see me getting educated in the way of the edgelord i just hope sonic doesn't get mad because i know he doesn't like shadow very much but who does from your boy froggy wait are you like the real froggy i hope big's not looking for you i'll, I'll tell him that i haven't seen you okay uh, what are your thoughts on sonic unleashed and the werehawk Sonic Unleashed was a really fun game, but I didn't like how Chip pretty much replaced me as Sonic's sidekick. The day levels in Sonic Unleashed were really fun to play, but the Werehog, he was kind of difficult to control. Also, Sonic's Werehog voice was kind of weird. Hey, Tails. What are you doing out here? And I don't know if you guys have seen, but there's some really, really disturbing artwork of the Werehog out there. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I don't recommend that you go looking for it. From Anna's playlist, Tails, can you please play Sally.exe? It's funny for me anyways. Funny? Okay. I found a video of it. Uh, not sure if I want to play the whole thing, but let's have a look. Okay. Uh, what's happening? Are you okay, Sally? This looks a little scary, guys. Energy? What does the energy thing mean? Is that something to do with her shield? I don't know. I wonder if, uh... Oh, wait, is that me? It's Tails.exe! Watch out, Sally! I think she's hiding. Hmm, the column blocks by the road. And where is Sally? If she's on the other side, we'll need to get her. No, don't do that! Don't be evil, Tails! Even if she escapes, what's the difference? Soon the land of Mobius will be enslaved and she's got nothing- What?! The whole- It seems there's no way back. I'll have to go through them. Oh no, okay, yeah, this is scary, okay. It looks kind of interesting. I mean, maybe I could play it, I guess. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you really want to sit through a whole video of this? Oh wait, is this a boss fight? 
Oh wow, she's really running away from Knuckles. So wait, what is this? Is this just like girls versus boys? Because apparently you play as Amy and Cream too. Why is it just me, Sonic, and Knuckles that are evil? Oh look, it's Amy Rose, everybody's favorite character, right guys? <laughs> I think Amy's hair looks kind of cool in this though. Well, there you have it, guys. This is Sully.exe. Well, that's all the questions we have time for for now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And leave your questions for the next episode in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss a video from me. Until next time, fellow inventors.